Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and in this tutorial, I want to show you the best way to use and apply the mixer brush tool. If at all I've been having issues regarding using the mixer brush tool and also setting it the right way in Photoshop. So if at all I've been having issues regarding using the mixer brush tool for frequency separation, this is the right video for you. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all. You are watching and you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel so right now this is the image that we're going to be dealing with and i'll just come and simply so you know, before editing a photo always make sure you open photoshop and drag your image into photoshop so in order to use and apply the mr brush tool i'll simply come to my actions because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one so i just come to the actions so you come to window and select actions and it's going to open up the actions panel right there so since my image right here is showing 8 it means my image is 8 bit so i'll come to frequency separation 8 bit and select the action and simply play it so this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation in general so with this first step you have to determine the amount of skin details <clears throat> that you'd love to remain with in your finally retouched image so you have to look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin and when you identify that area you can use this box to click over so this forehead area has more skin textures like i said this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation whereby you have to determine the amount of details that you want to lose in the low frequency layer so the details we lose right here are going to be the details will remain with in the finally or in the image that we retouch at the end of the process so just come right here to the radius and simply left click and drag up <coughs> just drag up so you drag up as you are releasing the left click button so we have to stop at the point whereby the details or the textures are just starting to disappear so at round 10 that is when my textures are just starting to disappear so you have to stop at the point whereby your textures or your details are just starting to disappear from uh, your image and after doing that just come and click ok to apply the effect so i'll just come and delete this so in order to use frequency separation i'll just briefly turn this off then first of all demonstrate for you how you have to move your mixer brush tool before we go into setting up the brush and applying it on this image so for purposes of demonstration i'll just create a layer an empty layer so when you analyze or when you look at this very image you can see that we have an even skin tone so whenever you're applying the mixer brush tool remember we are applying it on the color layer or the low frequency layer so you can see that we have shadows in this area you can see that we have shadows in this very area so i'll just get the brush tool so we have shadows in this very area right here we have highlights here then we have more highlights there and we have shadows in this area so how you have to move the mixer brush tool you can see that this forehead area is moving in this direction so for a mixer brush tool when you're applying it on the forehead area you have to move it in this kind of direction and this direction you can see how the arrows are moving and these arrows are curving the reason for that curve is because we are following or maintaining the original shape of the model's face because we don't want to flatten it out and lose out on her facial features so when it comes to the nose area you have to move it in this direction mix those shadows alone and also these shadows alone and get a small brush and also blend those highlights alone so when it comes to this area whereby the transitions are moving from the dark to bright get a small brush and mix those transitions to blend those transitions don't move the mixer brush tool in this direction don't move it in this direction don't move it in that direction so basically that, has, that is how you can apply the mixer brush tool so when it comes to the chin area you have to move it in this direction because the chin is moving in that kind of direction so you mix the highlight salon 
the meat tones alone and the shadows alone and where they are transitioning from one color to another get a small brush and mix that area to blend it and create a nice and smooth transition between those colors so I'll just come and delete this and we go back to how to apply the mixer brush tool so i'll just activate my frequency separation group and open up the frequency separation group by clicking on this drop down menu so before applying the mixer brush tool always make sure that you have selected the low frequency layer and after selecting it simply come under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool so you right click and select the mixer brush tool and after selecting it always make sure that you set it right so if at all the mixer brush tool is not showing under the brushes you can right click down here and locate your mixer brush tool but mine is right there and after selecting the mixer brush tool we have to set it the right way so just come right here and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is select selected make sure the brush is clean so select clean brush right there and we have Two options right here one is saying load the brush after each and every stroke and the second one is basically cleaning the brush after each and every stroke so we have cleaned the brush because we don't want the brush to have or contain any other color then we have selected the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke with a weight of nine percent so make sure you use a weight of nine percent because as you're mixing and blending the colors within the skin tones we don't want the color to spill over from one area to another we just want the brush wetness to mix a given area and not spill that color to the nearby area that is why we have used the weight of nine percent load of 75 mix at 90 and the flour of 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not turned on and if at all the mixer brush tool is showing this kind of plus icon Make sure that you press the caps lock key on the keyboard to bring back the circular formation of the mixer brush tool. So before applying the mixer brush tool, always make sure that you have turned off the high frequency layer. And as soon as you turn it off, you can see the uneven skin tone transitions within this image. You can see this shadow area has this kind of bright area right here that we want to blend to be part of the predominant dark area that is belonging within that given area so what i'm going to do i'll now show you how you can easily apply the mixer brush tool so to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool you have to use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so the right open bracket is going to increase on the size of the mixer brush tool and the left open bracket is going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool so always before applying the mixer brush tool onto the image to blend you don't have to zoom all the way in don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions better or well so always make sure you retouch at a distance because it is going to also help you save a lot of time when you're trying to edit using frequency separation and using the mixer brush tool so you can see right now you can see the uneven skin tone transitions from a distance so how to apply the mixer brush tool we simply make sure that the brush is small enough and it is going to mix a given area regarding the color in that given area so make sure that the size of the brush is going to remain within a given area so that is okay and how to apply the mixer brush tool you left click and hold down and simply paint uh, or you can move your cursor while still left clicking and holding down and mix a given area and like i showed you at the start of the video you always have to move the strokes of uh, the brush the way a given area is shaped so you can see that we have blended that shadow area then come this other side and also left click and hold down and mix that shadow area left click and hold down and mix that shadow area just like that then when it comes to the brightest area you have to mix that bright area just like that and like i showed you where it is transitioning from one color to another 
reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket key on the keyboard and mix where that color is transitioning from the brightest to the darkest color so that you can create a harmonious transition between those colors so you can start we have created that kind of nice and smooth transition between those colors so don't mind if at all the image is looking plastic we are now focusing on only the colors so when it comes to the cheek area right here you can see the cheek area is moving in this kind of direction so i'll reduce on the size and mix this shadow area just like that using a small brush and blend those colors in that area just like that and mix those colors so this area has highlights so i'll just come and left click and hold down and mix just like that and release the left click button if at all you're going to mix another area then reduce on the size and mix where these colors are trying to blend just like that to blend the makeup better into the image so when it comes to the nose reduce on the size and use a small brush and blend the shadows on the nose area just like that and blend the other areas just like that with a small brush mix the highlights create a nice and even transition so you can see that we have even shadows right here mix and blend those shadows in that area and reduce on the size and mix and blend that area so like i said when it comes to the cheek area or the chin area you have to move the strokes of the brush in that direction to keep and maintain the original details or the shape of a given area and mix that transition quite well or quite better so like i said as you're using this kind of technique the image tends to look a little bit plastic so the reason for it looking plastic like we have right now is because we turned off the layer that is containing the details of the image so in order to bring back the details in the image you can come and simply click and select the high frequency layer, and you can see the skin textures have now been brought back into this very image so you can see before after before after for just brushing and blending the skin tone transitions and we have not lost out on the original skin textures and details so you have to continue doing this and mixing every area that has skin so you can see this area you can just turn this off and with a slightly small brush blend these shadows alone and blend the highlights alone and where they're transitioning from the highlights to the shadows just come and blend just like that you can see how nice this has gotten to be so turn this on and always check on your progress by checking on the before or this visibility icon so this is how you can easily use and apply and also set up the mixer brush tool for your skin retouching using frequency separation in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this video simply like this video and if at all you want to purchase my actions check the links in the dis description of this video to visit my digital store and also buy and support the channel by buying my photoshop actions for skin retouching to make your process or your editing process in photoshop quick easy and faster so this is it for this video simply like this this video and also don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating